Yeah, in this episode, we want to try and fix Henry, um, finish off the welding on the inside, and clean that up, and give the unit a big clear up, ready for uh, epoxy priming. Yeah, we've set ourselves a big challenge, um, a lot of stuff to do, especially the cleaning. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not a fan of cleaning. Um, but yeah, must do it really. But first thing to do is uh, look at Henry. I had a couple of quick looks on some videos, seen how to take it apart. So we'll take it apart, see if the switches, it's just switches, and if so, we'll have to just order some new switches up. Uh, yeah, Henry! Okay, first thing first was to make up a tool out of an old, oh, I don't know, some cheap bit thing, Allen key type rubbish thing to get down there because I didn't have anything down the unit. So yeah, nice little tea bar, look at that, professional. So what I've read, um, not that anyone cares, is the four big bolts, four nut bolts on the outside, don't undo those three middle ones because that holds the motor in and that drops out, so you don't need to do that. So yeah, let's uh, undo these and then take it apart. Plenty of videos out there, you don't need to watch me doing this, but hey, um, you like guys just like to see what I even do. So there's a little, there you go, we've got that out. And um, there's a little panel here that flips out to get the lay to get to the switches. They're just fitted like the old classic mini switches, you know, the rocker switches that go in the front. They're just pushing with two clips, but you know, I'm hoping we'll just see a wire dropped off or a switch burn out. Uh, not much at all there. Hmm. I do know this. That switch is rocking now. I think it had a bit of dust in it a while ago. Well, we're not plugged in, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Might have to just order up a new switch. We can test it, though. Well, I do actually need a box to uh, put some rubbish in, some metal in. I'll chuck that in a bag. It's just going to rip. So this is something that's arrived. I've got a few things that arrived actually, but uh, I haven't got much. But this is, the patrons will know what this is for, and this is purely for the patrons. Uh, uh, no, it's not that. The wrong box. Okay, this is just some, um, actually, for all of us, not just the patrons, just some. Uh, Degreaser. Nothing exciting there. Let's go get the other box that I promised. Box, other box. This is the other box. This is a box I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah. Um, not quite sure. I got handed to me the wrong way up, so hopefully. Da, 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 da. This is how to kill a few minutes on the video, isn't it? Oh, that's uh, this way up. Could it be? What is it? We got some cheap 2K hardener. And, and you're thinking, oh, he's got the dove grey though, isn't he? He's got the dove grey. He's got the dove grey for the, the pickup. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to tell me what colour this is. Don't get hooked up on the word Ford. Uh, oh, I think that side that thing. Oh, let's smash this tin. Ford Diamond White 2K. What are we going to use a Ford Diamond White for, you ask? You ask? Wow. Well, become a Patreon and find out. Or just wait a while. But yeah, there you go, Patreons. We've got a bit of 2K to paint the um, little project that we're doing. All right, back to cleaning. Well, wow. one bit of the floor tidied up, but ah, paint's still on the floor still. It's amazing that, isn't it? Looks like the day I did it. We all remember that. Anyway, 
yeah, keep on going. Box full of uh, scrap metal. These go down the old waste metal, metal recycling. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Pause cleaning for a second. This is the other box that's turned up. Just another little part of the puzzle. I don't know what things I need to go through. They're not shoes. Luckily, the wife didn't see the box. Shoes. What are we? What are we? Can you guess what it is? No, not a dodgy toy. It's a handbrake. Look at that. With a racing grip on it as well. Look at that. eBay purchase, I think. Ooh. I think I could just be missing the nuts and bolts to go through there, I think. But they could be on the cable, I can't remember. Let's have a look. Look at the cable somewhere. Cable. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, which way does it go? Yeah, so that goes through the button on the back of the subframe, wires off that, that then goes through there. So, yeah, we need the little nuts and bolts to go on there. What we also need is the Got it. It's a little quadranty type thing, a little triangular thing that joins this up to the cable as well. So, hmm. Anyway, one step closer to doing handbrake turns. Tell a lie. I got it. It's a very nice chap that donated it. Gave me that as well. Thank you very much again, sir. Uh, as I was tidying up, I found. back found uh, found 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 the old bit of floor slash bulkhead low bed area came out of there always good to keep some of these parts because again that's where the earth point is obviously that earth point's been bodged a little bit obviously these things happen with minis over time but it did equate to why there was a hole here and it's for the earth hole so i'll just want to drill through it because this top panel overlap it slightly um, obviously there's a hole where the um, main battery cable is going to go through as well. So yeah, what we'll do, while we're here, we'll just weld a nut on the inside of that, so that's all ready for later. And uh, yeah, good things to remember. <laughs> Welding. Uh, one thing I'm thinking about still, I think I mentioned it originally, I don't know what about doing these holes. These are little L-shaped brackets that bolt on here, or screw on, bolt on, uh, for the big cover that goes on the top, you know, if you've got one. Am I ever going to have one? Do the next person want one? Guess you could just drill them out anyway. They're just, uh, you just think they're just a nice place just to maybe leak water, but then it's quite close to the gutter. Uh, I don't know, I keep changing minds whether just to weld them up, grind them off forget about them so you can get nice stainless steel brackets to go on here um, but again it's 20 quid why bother you know do I just leave them just grommet them up anyway oh I don't know make the decision for me guys okay I promise I'm not getting too distracted um, I just uh, finished welding all this off put a bit of pub on it same as a door pillar um, because again whoa maybe some people saw my secret project there um, yeah, this panel all the way along was all replaced. Um, somebody else did that. But, um, yeah, so I thought I'll get some of that done, the welding out of the way. Uh, I've been tidying the floor in there, got a bit of surface rust, we need to get that off. A um, couple of bits of more welding just to do under the dash rail. Um, and then again, we haven't got Henry the Hoover anymore, um, so we'll have to use um, David the Dyson, um, as long as my wife don't catch me. Um, and then what I do is I hoover it all out, all the gutters and everything, and then we're going to get a bit of just um, epoxy primer out of a rattle can, just in there first, and then we go over the um, with sealant. 
let that all go off, then we can come back and uh, yeah, so I don't think the ceiling's going to take, take too long, so I'm just trying to prep everything. I might scotch some of the stuff down, and sand stuff down, just so I'm not doing too much sanding and scotching after all the ceiling's gone down, just otherwise I'm going to have to hoover twice. Um, but yeah, get in there. Okay, that's me done for today. Um, I just did a load of waffle for a couple of minutes there and I didn't hit record. So that's a bit pointless. But anyway, we wanted to fix Henry, we wanted to clean the place up and we wanted to do some sealant, I think. Uh, we didn't get any of them done. We didn't fix Henry, we didn't completely clean um, and we definitely didn't get the sealant done. Uh, but we did a load of other little jobs. Um, bits of filler, bits of welding. Uh, so it's just good to get them done. They're all the little laborious little bits. Um, still got a few more to do. Well, loads more to do, roof and stuff. But we're trying to get the interior done. Um, so next time we get it sealed, hopefully. Then if the weekend's good, maybe the weekend, mostly not. Next week, uh, we can get the epoxy primer on it. I must stop saying her. Uh, I do apologise. Uh, epoxy primer it. And then we're just going to top coat it. Plenty of other ways to do it. I'm not a concourse guy. I'm not a purist. I'm just going to use this. Some people would put um, filler primer on, rub it down, smooth it all out. I'm not going to. Epoxy primer, top coat, sound denning, bit of silent coat, carpet, bish bash bosh, we get out and drive. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to have pulled pork for tea tonight and just some little french fries and some coleslaw, I expect. Maybe corn on the cob as well. I know people have been asking for photos, but the time I've gone home, edited it and stuff, and I've already eaten tea. So... If I show you a picture of my next dinner, it's not going to work too well, is it? Because of yesterday's one, because it's all going to be out of sync. Hmm. But anyway, thank God February's, uh, January's finished. And uh, yeah, let's bring on February, see what happens. One last thing, my daughter bought me this for Christmas. Man cave, what happens in the sand stays in man cave. Major project underway, and your own risk. Flip this round, you can then say, drinking and farting. I don't know why she got me that. Don't think it's relevant, but uh, thank you anyway, Deanna.